kids, it's Teacher Teacher here. Let's talk math minutes. Today, boys and girls, we will explore circles and ovals and their differences. So, and I guess their similarities as well. So, boys and girls, a circle is a shape that's round that has no corners and it has an ongoing line. And with a circle, this is our so circle, as you can see, it's round, but there's something that's a secret about our circle. No matter how we cut it, if we cut it straight across, we get equal parts because all of its angles are equal no matter what. They actually measure the same distance. Now, an, an oval is also a round shape that has no quarters, and then it has a line that keeps going and keeps going as well, but there is a difference because an oval, if you cut it in, in, in um, quarters or halves, it's not going to have the same shape every which way you cut it, no matter what, because it has longer sides than it does the top and the bottom, right? And it's, it's sort of similar to an egg shape, isn't it? Uh-huh, it is. Look, I have some eggs right here. Look at there. That has the shape of an oval, if we look just the front and back, right? And did you know that there's some other foods that we eat that have the shape of an oval? What about these grapes? They're not circles. They're ovals, but there are some grapes that look more like circles too, isn't there? There are. And, but if you like cookies or crackers with peanut butter, that is a circle. And if I cut it any one of these ways, I have equal parts. Now, even some of the things we use in our kitchen also are either a circle or an oval. What about a plate? In most cases, not all plates are a complete circle. And this is a paper plate, so I could also cut it into equal parts as well because each part is equal, right? Now, if I look at the tip of my spoon, what shape do you see there? You're eating with an oval shape. You have a plate, but an oval shape too. Circle and an oval. So those are some different kinds of shapes that you can find around your house, right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to explore more shapes of ovals and circles around your house. Go outside in your backyard. Go walk around your neighborhood. Look some more inside of your house. Look in other rooms. See how many ovals you can find. See how many circles you can find. Then what I want you to do is I want you to send me a little note. You can email me and tell me how many circles you found and how many uh, ovals you found around your house. And you can do that at WKNO teacher teacher at gmail.com. And I will be so happy to hear from you. I just want to see you exploring all those circles and those oval shapes, okay? Now, I also want you to go to pbslearningmedia.org and then you can see some more shapes. You can explore more shapes. You can see more information and more worksheets and videos and, uh, on these two shapes, the circle and the oval as well. And I would be just so happy for you to do that because you're just getting smarter and smarter by the days, boys and girls. And then I can't help but say thank you to the International Paper Foundation for making our math minutes happen. Thank you, International Paper Foundation. You guys are the best. So and until next, time teacher teacher says bye bye